Hi, so in this video I'm going to give a little update and talk about my recent eye test which was for convergence insufficiency. Uh, so if you see my last video, um, I was tested for dry eye. Um, I certainly do have dry eyes and you know they've given me some uh, treatment for that so it was good that I brought that up. Uh, so with the convergence insufficiency um, I'd been diagnosed with that before, um, but after I got plus lenses, I was so much better with that. I disregarded the uh, convergence issue, and I want to look at it again because you know it could still be uh, present, and that's kind of what we found out in the test. Um, so when I had my test, um, he actually used a bar to see what my convergence was like at distance. Um, so that, that was a little bit different um, than before. So the previous two tests I'd had, and um, this was a long, long time ago, was um, I, I had to look at a sort of ruler and it was uh, graded and I had to converge my eye, uh, my eyes to make the two images into one and it got harder and harder as you went. I can't remember whether it was up or down the stick. And at that point they told me, oh, your convergence is better than most people's. Well, yeah, it was because I was completely overdoing it. And then the second test I had, I had to look down at a box. So that was looking at my convergence for reading um, and I ended up with a what, one diopter prism or 1.5 diopter um, it, it wasn't very much anyway and because I wasn't given any other prescription when I needed pluses it only worked for a short time and then it stopped and I was back to square one um, so this time we um he had a prism bar and he moved it up and down to see what happened uh at distance viewing um he noticed straight away that there there was an issue with my left eye kind of trying to move out um and he also noticed that uh my le you know, I was trying to uh, suppress my left eye, or my left eye was suppressing an awful lot. Um, and no one's ever really noticed that before. Um, a previous optician did notice that my left eye had a tendency to move out, but uh, didn't really want to do anything with it. But he noticed what was quite a bit of what was going on with that and I have to say my my left eye re really is a bit of a thug um, even, even with um, the occlusion with you know with the, an opaque glass here it is still trying to take over um, obviously I'm much more comfortable with it covered um, so that's an improvement, but uh, yeah, that is still going on. So um, then he wanted to see what my prescription was. Um, so we had to go and look through the auto refractor, which, oh yes, I'm so very fond of the auto refractor, and I've got some videos on the auto refractor and the problems with them um, but he said it's, it's okay we'll we'll do a, a subjective examination so we'll use the the letters on the wall um, to you know to get your actual prescription um, so we we did that um, he did notice there was quite a bit of variation but he came away with a a lower figure than uh, what I'd had um, the last time I was examined. 
Um, and I don't think that uh, the other chap was wrong. And I don't think that uh, this guy now is wrong either. I think uh, my eyes just do vary that much. But um, we need to, the next appointment then, we do actually need to look at what my prescription um, is with with uh, prisms and it may or may not work but I think this is worth giving a go because this is new um, there is apparently still an issue which uh, obviously was was overlooked because I got diagnosed with uh, three different things three separate different things um, so none of them were taken together and on top of that I, I did have a funda fundamental need for a plus lens uh, for, for reading at the very least back then, and I wasn't given it. So that would have skewed, um, you know, whatever results I had with, with anything else. Uh, so, you know, now, yeah, there actually is a bit of a problem there. And also... Um, seeing that there, there is a problem at distance. This is something I hadn't thought about before. Um, it certainly can happen. And it, it does explain that, you know, as soon as I see something, then I really don't want to look at it. Um, so, and that that is in the far distance. Um, so that is good to realize that and you know may, maybe uh, we can work with that 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 would be excellent so uh, yeah so the next appointment then is going to be to try and refine the prescription um, now the figures the the actual strength that he came up with for me um, was a four in my right eye and a six in my left eye or thereabouts um, which is probably closer to to what I'm wearing um, also this is a little bit different because um, when I've been prescribed before when I've had a prescription the the eyes have been round about the same strength the the left eye a little bit uh, stronger than the right eye always um, but this is quite a bit more of a difference and I feel that bigger ratio will actually be helpful I mean I've always uh, felt it so that that would be worth trying. Now for me um, the issue really has become uh, you know like as soon as anything becomes clear on uh, on the Snellen chart um, I immediately think yeah okay it's clear but if I get something in that prescription that is going to hurt <laughs> You know within about 10 or 20 minutes so I'm like eh, make it fainter make it fainter um, so maybe that is something I need to think about a, a little um, you know I could try something at a bit higher diopter than I than I need and if I'm okay and it's not too bad um, perhaps bring it down a bit although um, he explained that with prisms you actually do need um, like a more exact prescription to your actual um, to whatever your actual strength is. Uh, so yeah, um, the other thing I think that I do need to take up because there were three different things I was uh, diagnosed with or that were made mention of before. One, of course, was the dry eyes. Uh, the other was a convergence issue or a binocular vision issue. The other was light sensitivity. Um, and 
when you're reading the Snellen chart in the opticians, it's backlit. Um, so, so you're looking at a light source. Um, so if I'm seeing things very much better because they're lit up, and I think I may actually be, um, then that might change what my daily wear would possibly be. So I think I also need to take up another appointment um, just to see if there's anything there, um, you know, so we can rule it out or, say, or you know, we might say, yeah, you're a bit light sensitive, so uh, possibly you'd need a glaze or, you know, something different for when it's sunny, I don't know. Yeah, so that's where I'm at at the moment. Uh, so obviously I've had that uh, examination and it took, you know, quite some time. So the next examination in a few weeks' time, that's going to be to refine what the prescription should be. So um, I'll be updating as and when. So I hope you like the video. Uh, please like and subscribe and hope to see you in my next video.